Hi everyone, this is Micro P11, author of uh, Site DLC um, in Marsat C decoder. And today I'm going to show you how you can use the Site DLC SDR Sharp plugin um, in conjunction with the SDR Sharp software. And of course, this will run on Windows in this case uh, to decode in Marsat C signals. And I will show you the setup and uh, we'll stop there after the setup and then I will make another video of how to use the user interface to actually see the um, human readable representation of the data we're going to be decoding and uh, we're going to start with uh, setting SDR sharp with um, one of the spy servers that uh, were put out there by benevolent people all over the world and um, that's how we're going to get to the signal. I do not have a setup in the place where I'm right now that has an antenna or a receiver associated with it, attached to it. So in order to identify uh, the SPI server that we need, we look on the Inmarsat C for the frequency band uh, that we're looking for. And then it is 15302.1545 megahertz. So uh, when I'm going to run the SDR Sharp, and what's, let's run it now. Um, and we're going to, this is, by the way, the version I'm using, it is SDR Sharp V1.0.0.1700. Um, I have not tested this software for any um, recent versions, but I have tested it and I have wrote it. This, this is about a year ago when this was written. So it was uh, tested with previous version of this for sure. Uh, so let's go and then pick up a spy server and then um, in this search box I'm going to type in Marsat and I'm going to pick this one here James Calais James from Calais France so click on this one and then um, launch in SDR sharp and um, here we are um, with the, I do not know why it's so fragmentary. Uh, it looks very slow. Maybe it's because of the recording I am making at the same time. Um, so I have already looked at this um, particular spy server, and this is the actual the actual uh, signal that we're interested in. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Um, and this is the NCS, the network control station for the um, IOR uh, satellite. And now we're going to install the plugin. So we have a source of signal, we have SDR running, now we need to install the decoder. Um, the plugins appear on this pane on the left side of the SDR Sharp. And uh, we will have after the installation one called Cytale C. So I'm going to stop the SDR Sharp and I'm going to close it because uh, it will need to be restarted uh, in order to uh, be made aware of the existence of the plugin. And then the plugin can be downloaded. This is the, the repository and the bit packet of the open source software for decoding the Inmarsat C signals. There are many projects here. But um, the one that we're interested in today, um, we can download it as a binary. And it is this particular file here. And I'm just going to download it. And then I'm just going to open it. And uh, I'm going to Control A. So I selected all the files. And I'm going to copy them over into the SDR Sharp. Um, folder. This is where the SDR Sharp is installed and I'm just going to dump everything in there. I'm going to replace all of them because I've been using this before but for the sake of the demonstration I'm just going to do this again. There is a bit of noise here fast that uh, for example this and this they're not really needed and um, I apologize for that but uh, in the next release of the plugin I I'll just remove those. And uh, in order to add the plugin to the SDR Sharp, we need to use this magic line 
So forget about the archive. We go to this, uh, where is it? Magic line, magic line text. And let's open this and then control A, control C. So we copy that and we add that particular line to the plugins configuration file, which is the plugins XML file. So let's open this in Notepad, plus plus, and if it opens, I don't know what's going on there, but we can open it into open with Notepad. And then we're going to edit, and let's make it look nice. I just added it to the first uh, line here, but you can add it. Um, anywhere else based on and there's a really nice uh, explanation of what the meaning and the order of this line is written by Vasily on his uh, web page so I'm going to on this plugin web page so I'm going to just save this close this um, we do not know why that doesn't work so close the program cancel that and close that so now we have added our um, plugin to SDR Sharp and if we launch the SDR Sharp again, now here we see the site LC plugin. It has an interface that looks very familiar to those of you who are using the, um, the, the Meteor plugin. And uh, now we're going to run the signal source. And then it looks like the frequency was changed, but I'm going to call it back. No, it's this one here. And um, to talk about the plugin a bit, uh, this button will enable and disable it. Uh, the UDP address and the UDP port are used for the decoded packets to be sent over to be displayed in a human readable information or human readable way. And then these boxes here, offset, CF, and text, estimated loss packets, and frame, and uh, mega symbols that were decoded is just information and there's actually more information that's hidden here um, but you can read about it on um, this is not the subject of this um, video so this checkbox here auto tracking um, it is um, will continuously track any change in the frequency um, based on the SDR um, receiver warming up or cooling off or um, differences in between night and day um, as the signal shifts a bit uh, a few hertz here a few hertz there so we will keep the auto tracking for now disabled i'm going to enable the plugin and then i'm going to zoom in on the source of signal we're very close right now on top of the signal uh, however the signal looks pretty low so I'm going to enable auto tracking and then you can see the frequency changing slightly and then hopefully it's going to lock onto the signal source and as you see we are locked onto the signal and uh, if you're lucky enough this is going to show how many uh, frames have been received this is mega symbols that are currently being decoded and there you go frame number 9791 has been um, received and decoded. And now we have two frames decoded. If you right click on the um, text and estimated loss, um, this is the estimated number of frames that we should decode uh, once the decoded starts. And then you see that 397, four to end, there you go. The fourth symbol comes. Um, this is useful uh, in case the signal is pretty slow, pretty, pretty low. And um, yeah this is pretty much all i wanted to say uh, in this video and then i'm going to make the next video in which i'm going to show how to connect um, this source of decoded frames to the ui so they can be uh, visualized thank you everyone have a good one bye